let's talk about the big lie. I'm going to read you a little bit from Wikipedia to set this up. The big lie is a gross distortion or misrepresentation of the truth used especially as a propaganda technique. The German expression was coined by Adolf Hitler when he dictated his 1925 book, Mein Kampf, to describe the use of a lie so colossal that no one would believe that someone could have the impudence to distort the truth so infamously. Yep. The big lie is an infamous distortion of the truth. And so much of what we are swimming in right now, the culture that we are told we live in, the white supremacist culture, the misogynist culture, the transphobic culture, this is a big lie. These are not fundamentally characteristic of American culture. But the big lie works because most of us, most normal people, most stable people, most sane people assume that other people are normal, stable, and sane, but some are not. There is a measurable minority percentage of the population who are unstable, who live lies, live in lies, live by lies, and live through lies. This minority does not have a conscience the way you do. They don't have empathetic feeling for fellow humans the way you do, and they certainly don't have sympathy for them. We call these people dictators, authoritarians, tyrants, psychopaths, cluster bees. They're out there, and they're in the ascendancy today. I want to show you a picture that is a big lie. So we put up on the screen here, you are looking at a photograph of a male weightlifter, a power weightlifter, standing in front of a background with a huge barbell, or maybe it's a dumbbell. A barbell, I guess. Well, if I'm wrong, you'll correct me. This is Gavin Hubbard. Excuse me, Laurel Hubbard. She used to be Gavin, but she transitioned. And what I want you to notice about this, he's standing there in a singlet that's made out of lycra, body hugging, as athletes often do. And you can see his genitals. You can see his male genitals. That's a big lie. Laurel Hubbard, she, this is an infamous lie put out by someone impudent enough to distort the truth so infamously. You have in front of you an obvious man, well over six feet tall, 43 years old, standing in clothes tight enough to show the outline of his male genitalia, and the entire media complex is telling you that this is a woman named Laurel Hubbard. Right in front of your face where you can see his dick and balls. Infamous, isn't it? And you know what? Laurel Hubbard is now New Zealand's pick to represent women's weightlifting at the 20... Is it this year? Is it 2021 or 2022 Tokyo Olympics? Yeah. And there's a 21-year-old woman, a weightlifter, who is actually the female champion weightlifter in New Zealand, who's not going to the Olympics because this 43-year-old man that we are told is a woman is going to be the first open transgender person to compete at the Olympics. Isn't that happy? And we put up with it. Maybe you don't. I don't. But enough people do. People aren't screaming in sufficient numbers that this is a lie. This is an example of the big lie. They say something so contrary to the truth 
something so obvious, so obviously false, that you are left dumbstruck. You don't know how to react.